sugar maple trees are tapped. Buckets are hung for the sap to drip into. Hoses are also used to collect sap into a large container. Hi, we're at Xylem Orchard, and we're here with Eric. He's going to teach us how to make maple syrup. When is the best time to tap the tree? We want to tap our sugar maple trees in late February, so when the sap really starts to run, at the end of February or early March, so we're all ready to collect the sap so we can turn it into maple syrup. Where is the best place to tap the tree? Okay, in the tree, here's our sugar maple. These are the ones we want to tap because okay. these the sugar maples have the sweetest sap. So we want a nice spot on the tree, somewhere here where it's a nice clean trunk, like maybe up here. Here's a good spot, right in here. Now we're going to take what we call the spile. Can we see a little bit of dripping coming out of there? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. maple sap. Okay, almost all water, but there's a little wee bit of sweetness in that. We, we don't want that to run on the ground, we want to collect that in the bucket. So we can take it in and boil it to turn it into maple syrup. So we're gonna just set that in there. If you can just, we wanna tap that in. If you can hit your hammer right about there. Perfect, okay. Now you're gonna, you're gonna, I'm gonna get the bucket. Okay, let's get the hook in the hole. And that holds the bucket. So when the sap drips out, it'll drip into the bucket. So we got some maple sap from the trees. We learned how to tap the tree. We saw the sap dripping out of the trees, filling up the pails, but that's just watery maple sap. Tastes like? With maybe a little bit of sweet, mm -hmm. just a bit. So to go from that watery maple sap to yummy maple syrup, we have to boil it. To boil it, we have a nice cozy little wood fire going over here, nice and hot. And we want to keep the doors closed to keep the heat on the maple sap to keep it boiling. How does the evaporator work? The sap comes in one end of the evaporator it works its way very slowly all the way through the evaporator. When it gets down to this end, from boiling the sap, it's turned into maple syrup. So the color and the flavor and the sweetness of maple syrup, nothing added, we just boiled it. It comes out here as maple syrup. have to put it through the filters to clean it up and then we bottle it. Now we're going to learn how to make maple taffy. Sharon's going to show us. Okay, so you saw how the maple syrup was made. We just boiled the sap and boiled off the water and left the sugar behind. So we went from about 1% to 6% sugar to 67%. This is boiled probably even twice as long so we get a thick, thick syrup. And it turns into maple taffy. When we pour it on the snow, it cools. And when we get a spoon, we can roll it up. And try that. Emma made pancakes for us. They were delicious. Mm. This is good. Mm, I love 
love pancakes. Today we're here at Siloam Orchards in central Ontario, Canada, just west of the town of Uxbridge. We are year-round operation right now. In the spring, we're making maple syrup. We also produce heirloom apples. We have Canada's largest selection of heirloom apples, about 350 varieties that you've never tasted before. We're serving pancakes with our fresh maple syrup right now. We have uh, the barbecue going again in the fall. You can come and pick your own apples. And we've had a wonderful time today with the boys uh, learning all about maple syrup. Thanks for watching our video. Bye!